everyone. So today I do have a very exciting surprise new purchase because I didn't think I was going to be able to get this bag anytime soon. It's kind of like a hot new bag, very kind of edgy and different maybe from what I would normally get, but still a classic and I'm so excited to have it. Um, I got the call from Nordstrom in Vancouver right before I left for Hawaii, so I'm currently filming it here. I brought it with me because I really wanted to show it to you as soon as I possibly could. Um, and yeah, it came in and I was really surprised that they got it in for me so fast. Definitely a different experience um, than shopping from Chanel because you can be on a wait list there for months. I decided to take the plunge and buy myself this Saint Laurent bag that I have been wanting for quite a while as a treat to myself um, after moving. So this is kind of like my new bachelorette handbag. It's a real treat. Um, it's gonna be very practical for me because it's black, it's the perfect size, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, but I'm just so excited about it. And if you've seen a few of my other handbag unveilings, then you know that I put a lot of thought into these luxury purchases. And there are a few things that I've kind of discovered that really make a bag like a holy grail bag for me. And this bag has pretty much all of them. So I'm so excited about it. Anyway, so this isn't really a true unboxing and cannot be one because unfortunately, um, Saint Laurent bags do not really come with a lot of packaging like Chanel bags do um, in my experience. So it just came in this dust bag and other than that it was just in a Nordstrom bag so nothing super exciting. I would say even the fabric of the dust bag isn't really anything special. It's just kind of like a shiny cotton and it wrinkles really easily so it's kind of a little bit rumpled looking from the trip but it protects the bag from scratches which is all that i really care about so i guess this video kind of like most of my other luxury handbag initial videos is like a haul it's a reveal kind of talking about why i bought it and my initial thoughts um so i hope that that's useful to you guys because it's kind of how I like doing things that we still need to call this an unboxing when there is no box. Um, so here it is. So this bag actually um, goes by a few different names. So when I first met it online in a couple of videos and I saw it on Instagram quite a lot, I was under the impression that it was called the collège bag, which actually makes sense to me because I think it is kind of a little bit of a twist on a messenger bag in a way just in terms of the overall shape so it has that kind of collegiate feeling to it but i would say it's quite a lot more dressy than that um and then actually the sales lady at nordstrom called it the boyfriend bag so it seems to have a few names i think the right name is a college because that's the name that i've seen it um, under the most um online and i think it's also what it's retailed at at Saks as well um, that's the name that they call it so you can see it here it is black and lambskin and it's a little bit of a kind of crumpled lambskin so it's not perfectly smooth which is great because then actually little tiny scratches won't show up as much but despite that it is buttery buttery smooth and I would say I'm very spoiled when it comes to the quality of leather I have bags from a lot of different designers I have several Chanel bags that are lambskin and this one is just as soft and buttery and luxurious feeling um, it also is just as nice as Gucci leather who are really pretty renowned for the quality of their leather as well um, so I'm really impressed with the quality of this when I went in the first time to Nordstrom they had it in a smaller version which is really cute as well I will link it down below if I can find it so that's the medium size this is the large size which I decided to get because for me it is the ideal perfect size for a handbag I can fit all of my essentials in here it's it's just a little bit bigger than my Chanel boy bag that I recently fit, featured in a video which will allow me to carry a few more essentials such as for example a compact umbrella or sunglasses um, or a little bit more makeup or things like that so I really like that also if I wanted to um, make the room for it I could easily carry around my agenda and I could tuck it into this back pocket um, but right now I've actually been using this for my cell phone and it is 
perfection. I think this is such a perfect real life bag because it combines a lot of different wonderful things in it. It's kind of a little bit edgy. The size is perfect. You can carry it two different ways which for me was very persuasive in terms of convincing me to buy it so you can carry it over the shoulder like this and it has a beautiful kind of weathered looking chain on it or it fits also really gorgeously in the crook of the arm like this or in your hand which i think is kind of the most kind of collegiate looking way to carry it um, but I think that's really awesome because it means that you can get so many different looks out of this bag and I think it's perfect for any season any kind of outfit it has a little bit of a sort of briefcase look to it as well so I think it can transition super easily into an office wardrobe but also because of the slight kind of rocker edge to it as a result of the dark hardware it can really transition very well into casual wear as well so I'm really really impressed with the design of this I have to say I've never been tempted um, to buy a YSL um, bag before I have a few from my grandma um, that were passed down to me which are clutches and the quality of those is obviously unbelievable um, but in terms of modern design for YSL I haven't really prioritized it before until I saw this particular college design and I think it's perfection I really really think that it's a standout piece from them so if I open it up I'll show you a little bit what it looks like and I have to say also the chevron design of the leather which a lot of their bags do have um, is one of my favorites um, I actually prefer it over quilted leather I think it's a little bit more interesting I love everything chevron I think it's a very visually um, pleasing design it kind of draws the eye down um, my Chanel medium flap is also chevron and it's probably my favorite bag so here you can see the inside is very well organized it essentially is divided into three so you have a large front flap where you can put most of your things then there's a middle zippered um, pouch in the middle which is perfection for a wallet so that it stays safe and then at the back it's a little bit more of a small compartment so that would be perfect for an agenda any papers you might have and then there's a little tiny pouch right there and that actually would be a perfect fit for a bus pass or something like that or some business cards as well on the inside it just says Saint Laurent Paris um, and then what does the inside label say it just says Saint Laurent Paris again and it says made in Italy on a really buttery leather tag so yeah you guys I am so so thrilled with this bag I think it's so stunning it unfortunately doesn't have any feet on the bottom but that seems to be something that's a little bit kind of out of vogue um, for a lot of designers anyway even though I like to see it um, and then of course this strap um, this shoulder strap is removable so you could definitely just tuck this in into the bag and then just carry it with the little um handle and i think maybe that dresses up the bag a little bit more for evening or something like that because you then you don't have the long strap but i kind of love the casual elegance of just having the strap hanging because it's not very long um this isn't a great crossbody bag perhaps but it keeps the strap from being very cumbersome and kind of hanging all over the place when you carry it and it feels extremely comfortable and um, easy to carry and hangs in a really good place on the body i'm 5'4 it reaches to kind of around my hip or something like that if you were a little bit taller it would probably it around your waist which would be perfect too so very very smartly made bag i am so happy to be carrying this you will definitely be seeing this in a lot of spring and summer outfit of the day videos coming up i'm really excited to have another black bag as well because right now in this kind of size so medium bag size the only other handbag i have is my vintage chanel flap which is gorgeous with the oversized gold hardware but it's very different from this and i have to say it's probably my most worn looking bag as well just given that it was made in 1990 it's definitely starting to show a little bit more more age around the corners and sagging in the leather as well so I want to kind of give that bag a little bit more of a break than I have been doing and this bag I think will be a perfect kind of complement to it in my collection so here is my new beautiful YSL College bag I'll show you the back once more 
and that's my reveal video thank you so much for watching let me know any other luxury handbag or style videos you would like to see in the comments down below i will be filming a couple of fashion and vlog videos for you while i'm here in hawaii this is just the beginning of my stay but i was really excited to share this with you so don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see any of that and i will see you in my next video bye